story. So, what this is, is... Content Con, an event I have been running for three years in which I exhibit my international fame by autographing items like underwear, cod pieces, condoms, my own ass, and handing them out to innocents. Now, what we're about to embark on is either the success or the failure of a convention. Depends on how you think about it or how optimistic you want to be. So, I say we go full force. It's basically shown that in about 50 years, nuclear warheads will decimate 90% of America. So I'm trying to document as much of it as possible. And then two, my convention. Content on 2023. Uh, I'm handing out signed socks. Uh, this oh, is we're my good. sister's. We're good on the signed sock, dude. Oh. What is she? No, 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 no. No <laughs> signed sure? sock. There's some E. coli on there just for so, you. Sit back, watch, enjoy, indulge. And because this is a really long video and the audio is pretty consistently shit, so. After dealing with the sock phobic boomer and his based son, I decided to go into men's warehouse to convene with the parent of one of the fans of my YouTube channel. But this baby can go anywhere, except for the bathrooms. Legal repercussions right there. All right. See you fellas in about half an hour. At around this time, I happened by pure coincidence to run into local incel and known fan of YouTube channel and also Cemetery for some reason, Caden Hoffman, who decided to take part in my convention. All right, so uh, call his contract there. Just, we're, we're 10 his socks weren't in the frame. And with that, the first HIV-riddled sock of the convention was signed. Person. Now remember that middle-aged dad at the beginning of the convention in that stupid parking lot over there? He was sitting alone in the street with his son like a weirdo. But that's not what we did. After getting the introverted Caden out of his shell and off his dimple-riddled ass, we set off to show the world what this convention really was. It wasn't just about signing some old socks I found in my garage. It was about brotherly love. It was about ambition. And it was about triumph against all odds. Just the sight can maybe conjure the smell if you've read or smelt an old 1970s book with asbestos in it before. Ready? Um, I don't know if you can film here. Um, it was at this moment when we realized that Barnes & Noble was full of nothing but introverted bookworm losers who would be too busy reading their Fifty Shades darker copies than to pay attention to our convention. So we decided to pack up and take our shit elsewhere. All right, here you go. Make sure the screw stays in place, right? Are you ready to die a Pete's truck? Uh, yeah. I've gotten kicked out of Barnes & Noble so many times. It's crazy. You're a bad feeling this valid. What are you doing there, huh? Ask for that time. You ask for mine, huh? This is that. Is it bad, like, at one point I do want to read my comp? No, everybody wants to read mine, huh? It's an important historical document. Yeah, as individuals, like ants, Sure, we can lift ten times our own weight, but what worth is weight if we can't coalesce it into something greater? The car can wait. All right, I'm doing some important. There we go. One important thing that I messed up with these previous conventions is the angling of all this. But as long as we get the green screen in, we can get a little bit. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to the sun, this looked like shit. As you can see from this harrowing footage, the road ahead was long and treacherous, but our legs were veiny and muscular, and most of all, our can-do attitude was to carry us to our destination. You in there? Caden may have been a natural at operating a green screen, but he was trash at walking around without tearing his pants in two, as seen in this moment when he fucked up and ripped his pants, exposing his angry bird's underwear for all to see. No way, you actually did? That's... Fuck. Oh my Jesus. After that was over and dealt with, we found our first convention participants, or shall we say, our first convention participants found us. We were part of a legendary documentation, yeah, yeah, green screen, green screen, where in about 50 years, every single piece of this area will be decimated due to the uranium testing done in local facilities. So my goal is not only document, but bank off this opportunity. Nine, by, of course, signing memorabilia. So, are you ready? <laughs> you get a sock. And it's clean, too. We can sign this with my own personal signature, as well as uh, gift it to anybody who wants to be a taker. Now, I only made the resolution this year of giving away two pieces, and I prepared many spares, obviously. But if you would like to be a taker, then, of course, uh, don't be a faker. Somehow, my epic monologue convinced them, and I was able to get the second sock of the day signed. And what is your name? 
Lily. All right then. We're gonna write this to to yeah, Lily uh, slash the underline. There we go. Second piece done. We achieved our resolution for Content Con. Let's go. However, it's not over yet. We're still going. Now you, mustache man. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, I gotta be comfortable. This one is a lot. Get over it. In a world full of flaccid penises, Content Con was an erect success. However, we had nailed the people, and now it was time to nail the establishments. Of course, yeah. I appreciate that. PR purposes before you know go down in a nuclear blast. So, oh, would you like to step in here? Be a part of our documentary. Wait, she's not even in the frame. Welcome to Content Con 2023 and Ross Dress for Less. This is a, a super duper important convention. Where I'm going to hand out my signed socks. You fellas like some? Oh, here. Oh, wait, now this this sharpie doesn't work. There you go. Junior dot. I love malls and I love the joy, so we're trying to document the joy and preserve it in a time capsule to be discovered in the dirt by aliens. Unfortunately, our marketing attempt fell on dead gay ears. So all I had were my grandma's old socks. They, they smell pretty bad, they weren't properly washed. <laughs> However, at this point, we had marketed sufficiently, so we decided to retire back to Men's Warehouse, where more fans of the channel were waiting for us with gifts. Yeah. And also, fast gift. You know, oh, it's so good. In the car first. Reward is, car first. Okay, okay, card car first. Before. Okay, okay, yeah, uh, just, yeah, here, we'll hold this first. Open the card. It's going to be like a drawing out of labia or something. Yes, let's go. Mm -hmm. Political. Dear Brian Mark here, yeah. AKA good content with no space. I like that. AKA your mom. AKA Brian underscore case underscore the underscore non underscore virgin comma. Thank you for inviting us fellas to this once in a lifetime uh, event. Today is the second most important day of my life. Second to my first colonoscopy. Thank you. That's good. Your asshole is wider and so is your brain. Open those minds. Very good signatures. You are the mega mind. God. And then have a good birthday. Wish you all the best. Barnes and Noble. Let's yeah, go. We got the Dude. Barnes himself to sign. Yes. Oh, Noble died of dysentery like 15 years ago, but we'll avenge his death. It's all good. Mm -hmm. I miss Noble so much. He was the better one. This and then, may be and easier and, to open and you, side. You know what the good cartoons are. We know. Oh, it's so good. And this is going to be because I know I'm going to dismantle the really good taping yeah. job in here, and, and it's still going right. Yeah, it is. 42 minutes in. Right. There may or may not be actual fecal matter on the pen. Doesn't even we matter. Don't know. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever my nose and my mouth touches, it doesn't matter. It's all about what the video gets, all right? It's what the moving picture contains. Do this. I still, by the way, I was in the closet, like, trying to get all the socks in I the wanted closet? to sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and once I came out of the closet, I realized to myself, holy shit, that whole mega mind thing it gave me was staring me in the face the whole time Whoa. reminding me today. Also, I literally have not seen you in person since, like, the first hey, time. A year. A year. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that was a year ago. What the hell? I still have Bill hanging on my uh, my chandelier. Ooh, Cosby. It is it is so it is so sweet too. The two of you are so sweet. Mm -hmm. When you're together at War Party, you're just such nice people. It's so good. Okay, we're gonna have this. This is documented right here. There we go. <laughs> and then we're gonna put him right here. Right on the wall. Ooh. We're gonna do this. Whatever. I'll just take a picture and we'll just like graphically put it on top Ooh. of there. <laughs> One thing we didn't do because I completely forgot because I was too busy catching blueberries in my mouth with Dave on Content Con 2022 mm -hmm. was the Content Con 2023 chant. What the hell was wrong with us? What? So, yeah. Virtue. Oh! oh. After 45 minutes of suspense, <laughs> what's inside the box? It does smell very suspicious, but I'm just going to assume that's the box. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> the amount, okay, this is actually way more expensive than I was hoping you guys would save money. You guys don't even, these are all items that I just found in my own home. So. Curated. Okay, yeah. Curated. Okay, that's, okay, that's curated. good. That's good. We can uh, give ourselves a round of applause. <laughs> and then we can 
Kaden did. This is what Kaden did. This is what Kaden did. Kaden did. Kaden did. Kaden did this today. Oh, that's so good. In fact, I'm gonna have this right here. Uh, editor, that's gonna be me actually. Run the footage of Kaden ripping his pants and falling into the bush. Told you. <laughs> Zoom in on the red mark on his ass cheek, and then this. It's unopened and from 2018. Oh, minimum stinkage. That's good. <laughs> and then. This and I used to have these when I was like in my special ed class. Ah, fond memories. Fond, fond old memories. memories. This is the craftsmanship of this is insane. How, how the hell? This Kanan is, came up with the idea. And, I executed it. In case you must know, like okay, that and then recognition for this have a cool graphic with a clip art of like I don't know like a, a water drop with a thumbs up and a happy face, a clip art happy face. This. This is this is the type of stuff. This is I did not even expect this to happen at a convention. It's the thing that I say. It's the thing. It's the thing. The thing. Okay, okay, and then we're gonna keep this super, That's super safe. The thing. We're gonna keep this all inside the box, and you put it again. Oh. It's awful, and it's homemade, and you can't wash it ever, so it will always hold on to its That's sink. Doesn't matter. That's good. I can't wait, dude. I'm gonna give this to my dad. <laughs> why does it smell like shit? Why is it like 90%? Why is it like pink and gray? Does it like absorb all my fluids? And what does this mean? Well, Dad, that's for you to decide. You assign your own meaning to it, and you assign your own stash to it. Deal with my stash. Sure. After this heartwarming exchange of gifts and words, we decided to put the content mobile to rest once and for all by sitting on it, punching it, kicking it, farting on it, the whole shebang. Walk it up, buddy. Cards with black fists and other joke gifts aside, I want to say this entire event was such a strange phenomenon for me to experience. Granted, many people in middle and high school liked the things I said or the content I made, and I think that's a part of why people liked my channel in high school and why a lot of people watched and talked about it. But this con was about people who legitimately not only enjoyed my content, but enjoyed me for who I was. They went and took time out of their day, negotiated with their parents to show up, even without a working vehicle they could drive, to this convention, made these gifts for me, and took part in this entire convention, and held a green screen in the blazing sun for like 90 minutes. And that floors me. And... I don't even know how to respond to that, and in the moment, I appear apathetic in this recording. However, I don't even know if I can describe how sweet it is to know that people took time out of their day. I've had conflicting feelings about it. Sometimes I don't think, I don't think it's something that I'm owed, by the way. Not only that, but I also don't think it's something that I even deserve to have sometimes. And I don't know if I'm ever going to have it again, because this you know, event was very special. But the fact that it happened once, at the very least, at a bare minimum, is... So fucking cool. So, thank you to everyone who participated. Seriously. Caden, Avery, Leonard, I know with some of you I can be a little contemptuous. I can be a bit of a dick sometimes. But just know, we're all young and insecure. And we're all just kind of putting up our own version of a front and seeing if we can survive whilst doing it. Thank you so much for coming to this convention. And thank you so much for doing all that you did. And uh, see you in the next video. Yeah. Subscribe, like, follow. Yep, yep. Make sure to curb stop that subscribe button and to physically assault that like button. Don't hold back. Assault it. Punch it.